Hello everybody and welcome back to the second tutorial of our vulnerability scanner program. So right now what we did by now we coded the main function and right now we are left to code the return banner function and the check once function. So first of all we will code the return banner function since that is something that we are familiar with. We used it in the previous video so in the pardon me in the previous program so let's just make it real fast. The function takes an input of the IP and also of the port. Then we put the two dots and we will run the try and accept rule to actually check whether we can connect to that port or not. So we will use the same as before. So socket set default timeout to be around two seconds. And after that we want to actually perform the s equals socket dot socket and without actually specifying any other arguments between the brackets. So right after that we want to actually perform the connect function itself. So s.connect to the uh, IP and to the port. So IP comma port. And after that we want to receive the banner with the e uh, banner equals s.receive 1024 bytes. So after that all we want to do is just press return banner and in the accept rule we want to just return. So this is the function that we already coded before. There is not too much to explain. It is same as before. So let us continue with our check vulnerabilities function. So def check once which takes an input of banner and file name. So let me just check it right here. So banner and file name. Uh, Right after that we will use something that we didn't use before which is actually uh, managing files in Python. Uh, in order to open a file in Python you basically need a variable which will be the file descriptor and you need to just type open. In the brackets you need to specify the file name which in our case it is just a variable file name and after that you need to specify the mode in which you want to open the file in. Now there are three available modes. One of them is read the other one is write and the third one is append. So you can uh, specify all of those three with a simple one letter which is W for write, V R for read and A for the append. In our case we only want to read from the file since we want to read and compare the contents of the file with the contents of banner that we receive from the scan. So we will just specify double quotes open and close and then between them the R for read. Then you close the brackets and that is how you open file in Python. Now we want to actually read from that file but we want to read line by line since uh, we specified the uh, vulnerability.txt file to actually have vulnerable software that are separated by each line. So let me just show you if I just fa save this in a second and here I have vulnerabilities.txt. If I nano the vulnerabilities.txt here I have some gibberish and in a third line I have the actual software that is running on Metasploitable 2 on port 22. So the SSH port. And we will then compare each line with the banner that we receive from the open ports. And if the, they are equal or basically if we find this to be in some kind of a banner, we will print that the software is actually vulnerable and we will print it to the screen. So let us close this and nano back to our polescan.py. And now we want to use a loop which will basically say for line in file dot read lines open and close brackets. This is a function that we use to read line by line and we will store each line in a variable that we named just line simply. We want to actually compare right now so if line and we want to strip out the new line uh, characters which is backslash n and then between the double quotes is in banner. So if this line dot strip uh, the new line is in banner, we want to print uh, server. So we will just type it right here. Server is vulnerable. Oops, is vulnerable. And then we want to print the actual vulnerable banner. So banner dot strip 
and then we will strip the new line so it doesn't present any problem to us. And basically this should be the entire program. What we have to do right now is actually uh, run the program on our targets and see if it will be able to find the SSH port as a vulnerable uh, as a vulnerable software running on our Metasploitable 2. So let us save this, Control out to save, enter, Control x to exit. We have our vulnerablebanners.txt file containing the vulnerable banners. We have the vulscan.py, which is our program. Now let's actually try to run it. And it gives us the usage, since we specified it wrongly. We need to specify the name of the file uh, with the command, so we will specify it like this, postcan.py and then wallbanners.txt. So right now, if I press here enter, it will perform the scanning of uh, the localhost machines from 4 to 6, from the IP address ending with 4 to 6, and then hopefully it will find the metasploitable SSH port as a vulnerable software running there. And as we can see, it has finished, it found the open ports, it found the versions of software running on those open ports and it also found that the server is vulnerable with this software running. It scanned the uh, Metasploitable on port 22, found the banner and right after that it printed out that the server is vulnerable because this uh, this banner right here is also contained in this vulnerbanners.file.txt. So, of course, with the real scans, you won't really be using a file like this. What you want to do is actually download from the internet a file that contains vulnerable software names, and then you can compare it like that with your scan. So that would be about it for this section. In this scanning section, we coded our simple port scanners, and then later on we coded the advanced port scanners. We also finished off with the program that returns the banner of those softwares running, and we finished off our scanning section with the vulnerability scanner on open ports. So hope you enjoyed this section and hope I see you in the next lecture where we will continue coding. Have a nice day and take care. Bye.